How long on average does a golden retriever live? The average lifespan of your typical golden retriever is between 10 and 12 years, though a good number do survive until 14 and the oldest recorded golden retriever I could find was 19 and a half years old. Are golden retrievers good with children? They are very good with children. Gentle, kind and very patient while loving the high energy and play that children can offer them. You should be careful with a golden retriever puppy or adolescent though as they are a very large breed and at these stages in life, they can be very boisterous and knock small children over with ease. How big do golden retrievers get and how much can they weigh? Male dogs are 56-61 cms, 22 to 24 inches, and female dogs are 51-56 cms, 20 to 22 inches, at the withers. A healthy golden weighs between 60 and 75 pounds, with some of the very smallest and largest outliers ranging as low as 55 pounds right up to 90 pounds, not including overweight and obese dogs. How much exercise does a golden retriever need? The golden retriever is a sporting breed and as such, they need a lot of exercise to keep them healthy and mentally stimulated. They benefit from lots of regular high-intensity exercise when fully grown. Caution should be taken with golden retriever puppies though and you shouldn't force high-intensity exercise on them until they're 18 months old or you can damage their growing joints. Is it true that golden retrievers love to swim? It's certainly true that as a breed overall, goldens love to swim and the majority will seek out even the smallest puddles to get a little wet when possible. But it's not true of each one because they are individual with their own unique likes and dislikes. If a golden has a bad experience with water as a puppy or isn't socialized to it they may grow up to dislike it. Swimming is a great exercise for goldens, particularly in very hot weather or for elderly dogs, so it's worth getting them used to it when young and letting them enjoy the pursuit of swimming. Do golden retrievers need a lot of grooming? As a long-haired breed goldens do need a fair amount of grooming, otherwise, their coats can become matted and tangled. You need to regularly groom their whole bodies including their ears, armpits, legs and tail everywhere. You can brush the main part of their coat but use a comb in the more sensitive areas. You should brush them thoroughly at a minimum at least once per week, though twice per week is far better. Most owners will brush their golden every day when possible and there's no such thing as overbrushing so you can do so if you wish. You will certainly need to give them a brush every day during shedding season, the first three weeks of spring and the first three weeks of autumn slash fall. Do golden retrievers shed a lot of hair? I'm afraid they do. They shed hair all year round in small quantities but twice per year at the start of spring and autumn they shed in what can only be described as massive amounts when their undercoats change over for the changing seasons. Is it okay to have a golden retriever in a hot climate? It certainly is. They just need constant access to a shaded and aerated area, and lots of water, and they will do just fine. The one thing to be conscious of is to not overexercise them in the heat. You will want to do all high-intensity exercise during the mornings and late evenings before the sun gets high and it gets really hot. Is it okay to shave a golden retriever? You absolutely should not shave a golden retriever. They are a double-coated breed with a top coat and undercoat that work together to keep them warm in winter and cool in summer. Shaving them upsets the balance that Mother Nature created for the function of their double coat. In winter the undercoat grows thick as insulation and in spring they begin to shed this coat and you should regularly rake out the dead hair to remove it. A little trim here and there when being groomed is okay but you should never shave your golden. Are all golden retrievers golden? Or can they be other colors? There is only one color of golden retriever but the shade can vary quite dramatically from dog to dog. You can find some goldens that are a very deep fox red, all the way through to an almost pale white. But they are all known as the one color. 
This is similar to yellow Labradors who come in a similar range of shades but are also just one color. Do Golden Retrievers Bark A Lot? Generally speaking, they don't bark much at all but they can develop problematic barking behaviors, particularly if they aren't mentally stimulated and get bored. Do Golden Retrievers make good guard dogs? I'm afraid not. Actually, strike that, I mean I can happily say they don't. Goldens are a truly loving and gentle breed and that's a big part of what people adore so much about them. Some might bark if a stranger approaches the door, but if they get in a golden will lick them to death then show them your jewelry box. What age can I bring a golden retriever puppy home? The earliest you should take a puppy from its mother and siblings is 8 weeks old. Up until this time they are getting important socialization and learning important skills and social etiquette from their mother and siblings that it's very hard for humans to replace if they are taken any younger. What are the main differences between males and females? Leaving out the obvious, there are differences in size and some supposed small differences in personality that have led to generalizations, but really there isn't much difference at all. Males are a little taller and a little heavier, this is easy to see. But neither are aggressive, both are intelligent, keen to please, eager to work, and good with children. It's often said that males are more affectionate than females, and females need more attention, but this could swing either way depending on individual personality and isn't something you should rely on. Should Golden Retrievers Live Inside? Are they okay to be outside dogs? Golden Retrievers are a very social breed that long for and love to be near their family so if you're inside they will want to be in there with you. Also, without sufficient social interaction they will easily become bored and likely develop behavior problems and destructive habits, barking, digging, due to the stress of being understimulated and unsatisfied. Do Golden Retriever mixed breeds inherit more Golden Retriever traits? Sometimes. Golden Retrievers are great to crossbreed with. Gold Aiders, Golden Doodles, and Golden Huskies are all increasing in popularity. There are no breed standards for mixes, and the resulting offspring may or may not take more after their Golden Retriever parents. Where are Golden Retrievers from? These dogs are originally from Scotland. Why were Golden Retrievers bred? The Golden Retriever was originally bred in Scotland in the mid-19th century mainly as a working dog. That's why they are so good at a multitude of roles, hunting dog, guide dog, etc. Golden Retriever Temperament Golden Retrievers are calm, well-mannered, and extremely affectionate. They are easy to train as well, very intelligent, and great for those who need a companion. Goldens are also loyal to their owners, lovable, and great with children of all ages. They make great watchdogs. If you are always on the go or never at home, you shouldn't get a golden retriever. They crave attention and don't do too well if you leave them at home by themselves for long periods of time. Goldens need attention and desire to be around you at all times. Are Golden Retrievers Smart? Golden Retrievers are very smart dogs. Stanley Corin, renowned canine psychologist ranks them fourth smartest dog breed out of 138 breeds. Are Golden Retrievers good dogs? Yes they are. Due to the way they have been bred, they are very people friendly. Golden Retrievers are perfect family pets but also great hunting companions and efficient guide dogs. We recommend you look into getting one. Are Golden Retrievers hypoallergenic? No, no, no. These dogs are not hypoallergenic and they shed regularly. Why are some Golden Retrievers red? The theory is that some Golden Retrievers are red because of their Irish Setter heritage. As the breed evolved, this coloration likely became a part of the genetic makeup of the dog. The Red Golden is a purebred Golden Retriever but it cannot compete in show rings because of its color. Are Golden Retrievers easy to train? Yes they are. 
If your golden retriever is listening to what you say and doing well, you should reward it with a treat or praise it, as this is a positive reinforcement. On the other hand, if your golden isn't listening to you or doing the total opposite of what you say, you shouldn't reward it at all, but instead scold him with a stern N.O. When training your golden retriever, timing is the most important factor. If your dog is doing something wrong, you shouldn't wait or hesitate to correct it. When you see your golden retriever doing something right, you should praise your dog right way. If you don't praise your pet instantly and instead wait until it stops, your dog will assume that you are praising it for stopping. Golden Retrievers Activities When you do any type of family activity, you should make sure that your golden is included. Once a golden retriever is fully grown and becomes stout, he will enjoy many types of activities such as hiking, walking, hunting, jogging, and many other types of physical activity. Are you thinking about getting a golden retriever? Let us know what you decide in the comments below. And if you know someone who's thinking about getting a golden retriever, please share this with them. If you like this video check out our website, the link is in the description of this video. Otherwise, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.